Now what I'd like to do is move into multiplication of n tuples, right? And you're gonna find out that it's no different than what we've done just now, and I think you're gonna learn something from what you, or I should say tie something together from what we have learned a long time ago in your studies of vectors, all right? So remember, put this on the back burner for a split second, the idea of matrix multiplication, all right? But I want you to think back to the concept of a vector. You probably watching this uh, lesson, the series of lessons in linear algebra have taken a physics class at some point, or maybe a trigonometry class, but at some point you've probably been introduced to the concept of a vector. A vector isn't like an arrow in space. It has a length, we call it a magnitude, right? And it has a direction, so it's pointing in some specific direction. So an example of a vector would be like force. I push with so many newtons or so many pounds of force, and I'm pushing in a direction, a specific direction. This direction is different than this one. So this vector is different than this one, even if the amount I'm pushing is the same. But if I'm pointing a different way, it's a different vector. All right? So in physics or, you know, trig or whatever class you've studied in the past, we usually write a vector with a bar on top, right? And if you remember, we might write a vector something like this. 3i hat plus 1j hat plus 2k hat. Right? And these numbers are the components of the vector in x, y, and z. Right? So the i hat means x direction, the j hat means y direction, the k hat means the z direction. The numbers in front are the coefficients or the, the weightings of those different directions. So this, this whole concept of magnitude and direction is all wrapped up in this information on the board. All right? uh, we can also define another vector. We can define any, as many vectors as we want, but in this case, let's call it vector b. And let's say that it had a 2i plus 2j plus 1k. You might be wondering, why am I spending all this time talking about vectors? Isn't this a class on matrices? Well, what you're going to find, and I'm going to kind of spill the beans now. I'll come back to it. I'll circle back as we go through this lesson. Vectors and linear algebra go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly. All right, and that's one reason why linear algebra is one of the core classes that you'll take if you're an engineering student or if you're a science student or if you're a math student. Because vectors are used everywhere in almost every problem that you're going to solve from circuit analysis to force to differential equations. I mean, your vectors are going to be everywhere. And when you really think about it, just, just kind of use your imagination with me. We know that this number three corresponds to the x direction. And we know that this number one corresponds to the y direction. That's what this j thing means. And we know that two corresponds to the z direction. But because we know that here we have x, y, and z, if we know we're always talking about x, y, and z,